The dog thought I was expressing my glands. I don't know. All right, let's get enough made up to the stage. He's another one of us. Upper age gentlemen and Jeff Markowitz. All right, hey. Well, uh, I did a little bit of face camping today. I finally was able to shed some of the winter fur. You know, I had a full beard. So I got out the clippers and I going and I got on this side I had a big mutt and chop uh, cipher and it actually looked pretty cool with the, with the goatee. I was like, oh, maybe I'll leave it like that. Then I looked, well, I'd already done the other side. It was all bald, so that wasn't an option. But I thought about leaving it for a second. I thought about coming tonight and being like that and trying to do like a dialogue with myself. Well, I thought you were going to try something different tonight. Yeah, but I don't like beer. Yeah, but they got a lot of good, you know, Anyway, and, you know, I thought it could have been fun. It looked pretty badass, but anyway. So what about Martha Stewart? I mean, I don't know what your age. Is. <laughs> Everybody don't even see it anymore. Anyway, I mean, uh, she's 81 years old, and she's the oldest woman ever to be featured on Sports Illustrated as a swimsuit. Right? I mean, that's pretty awesome. She looks great. Um, 20 years ago, when I was 40, I'm 60 now, when I was 40 and she was 61, I read a list, there was a list, a survey was done with men about uh, celebrity women that they fantasized with. And she was at the top of the list, Martha Stewart. And I was like, at 40, I was like, what? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Now I'm 60, I'm looking at her and I'm like, you know, there's, there's a certain thing I don't get at home very often. I'm married, I'm 60. I'm looking at her now and I'm going, I bet she knows a thing or two about making a sandwich. <laughs> you know, come on. I mean, Snoop Dogg and her friends, right? You know, he's over there going, Martha, Martha, Martha. <laughs> This sandwich is the bomb for shizzle. You know, you know what I'm talking about, girl? No, uh, you know, maybe, anyway, okay. Well, I like to cook a little bit, and I like to get stoned when I cook. Last week, a friend of mine gave me a trout, a trout, and I've decided I'm gonna bake it for my wife. I've been trying to learn to cook the last few years. So, I'm getting ready, and my wife went and got, she got the, the lemon and onions and everything. I'm chopping all that. I even managed to chop the onions without getting tears. I don't know how, because I chopped them big chunks. But anyway, I opened that trout and I'm stuffing that stuff in there. And then I realized I forgot to salt it like I was going to, because I, I watched Master Chef salt your proteins. So I, got, I realized, well, I got the fish open, I got one hand free, and we got the spice rack with everything. So I grabbed the salt and I, I start shaking. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I don't see any coming out. I smoked yeah. half a joint before. And so I'm looking, I don't see any coming out. At first, I'm not sure. So this is what's funny. I mean, first of all, most people to see if it was plugged would have turned it up and just looked at it. This is what I caught myself doing. <laughs> I'm looking up at it like this. And only to find that I had not taken the lid off. There's through cap lids. So, okay, I get the salt on, then I go in, I get the trout baking, I go in, I sit down, and then I'm on Facebook, and I decide I want to comment on something. So I click on the thing that says commenting as Jeff Markowitz, and I start typing out the word commenting. Okay. Seriously, I got the whole word out, commenting, and it wasn't until I started to think, what's my next word, that I realized, what the fuck am I typing? So my wife was sitting right there next to me, and I started laughing out loud. I literally, and I realized I couldn't hide it from her, so I was like... So, oh, so Martha Stewart, 20 years ago, not only on that list was she at the top of the list, <laughs> There was someone on that list that I'll never forget of, of women that men fantasize, celebrity women. Marge Simpson. <laughs> For real. Yeah. Marge Simpson. Oh, yeah. That blew my mind. And I was like, okay. I've never been able to look at her the same since. I don't know what I'm saying. 
<laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, really, I've never been able to look at her. Every every time, I can't watch the system now. Mark Simpson, she's sexy. Just up and going on. Oh, family, maybe you got the answers from the same people that uh, give the answers for Family Feud. My wife and I watch Family Feud together. She comes up with the best answers. Like one time we were watching, and the question was, what is something that you've ever bought and had virus remorse for? And without missing a beat, she said, a lap dance. <laughs> and then, then another one was, what do you never want to make fun of your wife when she's wearing? And without taking a breath, without missing a beat, my wife said, a gun. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I don't ever make fun of my wife. <laughs> Everybody, keep it going. <laughs> he redid his <laughs> facial hair today.